This video is on routing. A router exists in the network layer and is used to build an optimal path on a network to reach its destination. Routing is the process of path selection in any network. There are three types of routing, static, default, and dynamic. Static is non-adaptive, meaning there is a preferred route for traffic while dynamic is adapted, which uses multiple methods to find the best path for the traffic. Dynamic routers are smart enough to take the best path for data based on condition of the present scenario at the time of the network. Default route is a configuration of IP that establishes a forwarding role for packets with no specific address of a next hop host available from a routing table or other routing mechanisms. Routers use numerous protocols. These protocols simply enable routers to pass on information about themselves so that other routers can build routing tables. Think of it as building a map. There are three categories of these protocols, distance vector, link state, and hybrid. In a distance vector routing, each router on the network communicates all the routes it knows about to the routers to which it is directly attached and is connected to. Each router represents one hop, so a network with six routers has five hops between the first and the last router. You can use a command like tracer in a Windows environment to see how many hops a packets take to each destination. Time to live refers to amount of time or hops that a packet is set to exist inside a network before it is discarded by the router. Distance vector protocols are typically slower to converge and do not scale well. However, they are easy to implement and maintain. Routing information protocol is a distance vector routing that uses hop count as a routing metric to find the best path between the source and the destination network. EIGRP is an enhanced distance vector protocol that is used on router to share routes with other routers within the same autonomous system. Unlike other well-known routing protocols such as RIP, EIGRP only sends incremental updates, reducing the workload of a router and the amount of data that needs to be transmitted. In a link-based protocol, each router floods information about itself to either to all other routers in the network or to a part of the network. Each router makes its own routing decision based on all received information and using the shortest path first algorithm, which calculates the shortest path to any destination. Link state protocols are fast to converge, having less routing traffic overhead and scale well. However, due to their complexity, it's harder to implement and maintain. OSPF is a link state routing protocol that exchanges information about the network topology. OSPF uses SPF algorithm to calculate the best routes and adds those to the routing table. And because each router knows the entire topology of a network, the chance of routing loop to occur is minimal. OSPF routers need to establish a neighbor relationship before exchanging routing updates. OSPF neighbors are dynamically discovered by sending hello packets out from a OSPF enabled interface on a router. Then we have hybrid which combines distance vector behavior with some sort of link state characteristics. Routers running high hybrid protocol sends changed information only when there is a change. Border Gateway Protocol is considered hybrid protocol, and it makes routing decisions based on paths, network policies, or rule sets configured by a network admin. BGP Border Gateway Protocol is the protocol underlying the global routing system of the internet, and it is a standardized exterior gateway protocol designed to exchange routing and reachability information about autonomous systems on the internet. Interior Gateway Protocol is a routing protocol which is used to find network path information within an autonomous system. Exterior Gateway Protocol is a routing protocol which is used to find network path information between different autonomous systems. Because routers need to find a way to select the better path when there are multiple paths available, admin distance number is used. Administrative distance or route preference is a number or arbitrary unit assigned to dynamic routes static routes, and directly connected routes. The value is used in routers to rank routes from the most preferred to least preferred.